Science in this, in this country and science in the world used to be democratic. All voices could be heard to find the truth. In particular, if we don't have the truth, if, so, if a hypothesis is, to, is as totally bankrupt as the virus hypothesis that hasn't saved one single life, we are killing 180,000 people with ACT, we are paying an army of 50 to 100,000 scientists who, who cannot even predict the spread of AIDS, that is the time to say, where's our market economy? Does that make sense? Is the patient getting its dollars worth of treatment? I, the answer is clearly no. There is no hypothesis in, in biology that has been so unproductive, so unable to predict anything as the virus AIDS hypothesis. It is time to stand up and say, to call for alternatives. But it's difficult to do in our country because medical science is now a totalitarian field. It is entirely regulated. The money is entirely uh, distributed from one institution, that's the National Institute of Health. And they have made up their minds before even one paper had been published on the subject in 1984, as we discussed half an hour ago, when Reagan was to be re-elected and Gallo and Margaret Heckler announced the cause of AIDS had been found before one single study had been published. The papers that had subsequently been published by Gallo were, were since all shown to be fraudulent, fabrica fabricated material.